Hey, church, I'm David Mosser, and Jim Hodgen and I are going to uh, try to shed some light on when our congregation comes back to uh, meet inside in person. Of course, we're doing online worship now, and that has seemed to gone really well, and a lot of people join us for that. But when the time comes for us to come back inside, uh, we want to invite everyone to uh, be able to participate in either the nine o'clock or the 11 o'clock services. But until uh, that actually happens, uh, we want to invite everybody to look at our online services. So Jim, what do you say? Well, for those of you who, who do come, we wanted to give you a quick update on what our services are gonna look like. To maintain social distancing, there will be some rearranging of the sanctuary seating. Uh, family units will be asked to sit together. All units will have three seats between them to ensure social distancing. And for, the, for this reason, we're asking that you make a reservation for the service you would like to attend so we can maximize our seating and not have to turn anyone away at the door. You can register online at our website by replying to the provided email or by calling the church office. And uh, you can sit wherever you want to if you're staying at home, but if you do come, we, we want you to know that uh, we will be sitting in family units. Uh, when people are here as a courtesy to others and to protect yourself, we ask that everyone would be sure and wear a mask. And uh, for those uh, who forget their masks, we will have some available here at the church. Now the, the entrance to the facility will only be through the doors in the atrium. You will exit through the same doors, maintaining appropriate social distancing. And as you make your way through the doors, we'll have staff or volunteers uh, stationed there to greet you. And of course, one of the things that uh, we will do is provide hand sanitizer for everyone so you can wash the germs right off of your hands. Just a few other things to expect for, for uh, the Sunday when we begin this and future services. There will be no children's ministry available and no gathering for fellowship. Adult Sunday school classes will meet in their designated locations. And again, masks are required uh, for all indoor class meetings. You can call the church office uh, for the location or find a staff member on Sunday morning and keep in mind that only one service will provide a nursery, and that's the 11 a.m. service. Now, several people have asked about uh, their offerings, what they will do with them. And so what we have decided to do is put either offering plates or uh, boxes at the uh, near the entrances of the church so that people can put their offerings or their tithes into uh those receptacles. Uh, you may uh, place your gifts in those receptacles, either the boxes or the plates, as you enter or as you exit the church. And lastly, we will plan to celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion together in each service on the first Sunday of the month. We'll gather at the Lord's table together using the same communion elements we use during the drive-through services uh, and the outdoor service communions. And just so everyone knows, uh, we are going to be very diligent about wiping down, cleaning, and disinfecting all of the areas of worship in between and after the services. And that goes for the entire church as well. We are deeply committed to keeping our, uh, our facility as antiseptic as we possibly can. Uh, the church office will be open uh, for the congregants from 9 to 3, Monday through Friday. And uh, we ask you to continue to wear your mask as you come uh, to visit us. So, Jim, you've got a final word. We're really looking forward to, to worshiping with you, uh, whether it's online or in person. So hopefully we'll see you soon. And God bless you each and every one. Amen.